you guys. This is the Royal Air Force jacket. And this is what it looks like on you. It has the wind flap here, which uh, pulled over. Now this is why a lot of people get it confused with the B-3 bomber jacket. But it's not. This is the British version. And uh, it doesn't have... The main, the main difference is it doesn't have that map pocket right here. The, the British version doesn't. So you can close this collar. Wind flap. Zip it all the way up. Uh, not have that flopping out on you. Or most people leave it open like that because this jacket is super warm. I mean, you could go out to a winter blizzard in this thing, and as far as your waist to your neck, you would be just fine. You would not freeze, not be cold at all. However, your hands, and your face, and your legs would be a different story. You might frostbite on those parts, but man, this thing is just super warm. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> Don't get it if you live in California or Florida or someplace like that. Never, ever have a chance to use it. Uh, mainly if you're living up north. Um, Canada, Alaska, the Dakotas, no problem. Mountains, no, no problem. Alright, so you can close this. tight around your waist. You've got the zippers on the sleeves. You can unzip those. Throw your sleeves up. I'm indoors right now and it's about 75 degrees. I'm really starting to burn up wearing this. Uh, but this helps keep you cool indoors. You can do that or when you're driving. So you're not, you don't get too hot in your car. And then I'll show you, you can close this up. And this thing's heavy duty. This will cover your whole face. So if you ever get in a windstorm, you're covered. This is what it looks like on the inside. And like I said, I've had this for six years now and it's very well broken and uh, just extremely comfortable. They, they start off stiff, but don't worry about it. Stick with it. Put neat squid oil on it and mink oil on it and it will soften up and get real soft and supple. Um, but besides those two things, you got to do those two things. But besides that, you also got to let it just age. You got to wear it uh, through several seasons. And from wearing it, you'll just start to break it out. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoy it. You guys have any questions uh, about this jacket, the Royal Air Force jacket, uh, or the B6 jacket or the G1 jacket, just leave a comment and ask me and I'll try to address some if I can.